What's up guys? Usually I make animated videos. This one is a cooking video. I'm not very good at cooking, but I live in a house by myself. I'm also trying to learn about surviving. And uh, I've been doing a pretty good job so far because I've survived. I don't have a lot of stuff in my cupboards, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, I've got some in here, cooking items. You know, I've got some granola bars in, fruit snacks. That's pretty good. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna show you uh, how to make a steak. So I got this steak. This is a New York strip steak. I watched two videos about how to make a steak. And before I used a um, thinner cut of steak and I followed a Gordon Ramsay video and that worked great. But then I tried a New York strip steak with that same method and it didn't work because it, the middle was still cold. So that wasn't as enjoyable. But uh, yeah, I mean, basically watched another video. Now I'm even more educated on steak making and we're gonna see how it goes and I'm gonna give you a rough explanation of what's going on, I guess. If you like this cooking video, let me know. And if you don't, also let me know and I'll probably cry about it later, but we'll get over it, I guess, together. So if you like this, if you like this cooking video, let me know. And uh, now we're gonna get started. So what I'm gonna do is put here, let's see, left front. I'm gonna put this one on like medium warm. So a little past medium. So some people like to cook their steak on the grill. There is a um, charcoal grill outside, but it's my roommate's. And my roommate doesn't really live here. He lives somewhere else. So uh, I could use the charcoal grill, but to be honest with you, I've never cooked on a charcoal grill before. So yeah, here's the pan. I'm gonna use it. It's gonna be medium hot. I guess I don't need the heat on yet because I have to do the seasoning, but I'll put that on in a second here. To be honest with you, I pulled this thing out of the packaging and I actually let it thaw for about an hour. But in that packaging, I guess the um, styrofoam under part kept the bottom cold enough that it's still iced up right here. So what we're gonna do is uh, microwave this a little bit. And then that way it'll thaw it out a little bit. Okay, this is fine. Um, it's all squishy. There's not really any ice anywhere, I don't think. I'm gonna put some seasonings and stuff on it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with Himalayan pink salt, extra fine. It's um, Himalayan, so you know it's good. I don't know anything about Himalayans, except there's a mountain there or a few mountains. So that should be a lot, probably too much, but we'll be okay. Just pat it around, smack it, make it all salty. That's the goal. Hopefully this is fine. Okay, flip it. You wanna get both sides. Now my hand's all greasy, so I gotta use my other dry hand to get the seasonings and stuff. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Better kinds of salt will be better for this. And by that, I mean the salt I used was probably not ideal. I'm going to use Tony Chachere's The Original Creole Seasoning. I love it. I put it all over like different meats that I cook and stuff. And uh, yeah. Oh man, it's all soggy. I forgot to desogify it with, um, with uh, paper towel. That's what the video that I watched told me to do. And now that it's really warm, I'm sure it's like super damp which is not ideal for, I guess, some of it is blood also, but I think we'll be okay here. Okay. There's no way I'm gonna get it 100% dry, especially now that I've started the process of seasoning it and stuff. We'll be fine. I'm just gonna put a little seasoning on there for what I took off by mistake. See, it's wet already on the downside, so, oh well, we'll be fine. This is gonna be so seasoned, so anyone watching this is gonna be you're just amazed, and they're gonna say, wow, that's way too much seasoning. A New York strip steak has um, this fat that runs along this side of the steak. I have to make sure that I can find some of those tweezers things. You know, the things that you go like this? What are they? I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Okay. My face looks so bad from that angle, but that's okay. I've got this, these scissors. I'm gonna use them like they're those things that you grab onto stuff with. Okay. 
So obviously this is not working out super good, but it's gonna be tasty in the end. So we will be fine. That's fine how this is. I'm just gonna hold it like this. So that way I can get that fat side uh, cooked a little better. As you can see it browned on the bottom. So that's pretty good. The heater's on kind of hot. I put a little bit of um, butter in the bottom. So hopefully that will help. I'm sure it will be, end up being pretty good, but I'm not a um, Picasso of steak. So it's a little difficult for me to um, practice skills that I don't yet have. Okay, so that's what the fat looks like after I cooked it for a little bit. Sometimes you just have to try stuff. You figure it out as you go, and that's that. This is kind of a cool angle. I look like uh, I look like I'm an Instagram guy or something. That's pretty good. Wow. Okay. So yeah, right now it's just sizzling. You try to flip it and see what happens. True people, oh man, oh, I'm coughing on the uh, Cajun seasoning fumes that are just going inside my, my brain right now. Okay, so people who are experts at cooking steak are gonna say, come on man, you only have to flip it once. Well guess what? I'm not that good at this, I'm figuring it out, okay? So, give me a break. It's gonna be delicious at the end, so that's all I'm really excited about. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter, and then I'm gonna splash it all around all over the place, because that tastes good. And when I say a little bit of butter, I mean a lot of butter. And then I'm gonna splash it right back up on there. So I don't know when to stop when it's like overcooked. I know that if you push it like this, it's supposed to match some type of squishiness of your hand. Like right here is uh, well done or something like that. Okay, so don't take any advice from me as far as this goes because I don't know what I'm talking about yet. Some of the angles of the meat. So I'm trying to get like that funny little corner there that didn't really touch the actual hot surface, maybe right there. Yeah, looking pretty sick, nice. Some people are gonna say, you know, that's not the perfect steak. Well, guess what? You can't expect those things when you have a low level of um, experience. So I'm sure gonna enjoy it and I'm gonna see what types of things I can put on it. I don't have any steak sauce. I'm gonna put a little hot sauce on it. Okay, this is hot sauce that I got from my plumbing job because um, the, we were plumbing, we were basically solving a problem where they were smelling a bad smell coming from like a bathroom. So we did a lot of work figuring out where it came from and it turned out to just be that the toilet needed to be reset and resealed, which is really easy. So uh, we did that, but afterwards, when we were leaving, they were like, here, we have this hot sauce, guys. This is Grim Reaper hot sauce. And um, it was pretty cool. Maybe if I sit over here, you can see me a little. Cinematography. All right, let's give it a shot. Pretty good. There's like a little bit of pink. I don't know about the steak aficionados though, but I mean, it's still pretty good. I feel like I did a much better job than probably I would expect of myself. So good job to me. Thanks. If you guys like this video, I would appreciate it if you let me know in the comments. If you don't like this video and you're like, you know what? I would rather you do animated videos. Just say it, say it to my face, make me cry. I'll get over it. But you know what? If you like the cooking videos, maybe I'll do some more. Maybe I'll do some more cooking videos. It will be beneficial to me because I'll learn more cooking stuff. It would be beneficial to you if you like it.
So win, 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 win. Everybody wins.